Hi, so this video I'll be unboxing the solar mounts that just came in the other day. I'll just open it up and we'll see what the mounts look like. Now these are from PV Quick Mount, the model number QMSEA. And my cat wants attention apparently. So yeah, so these are Quick Mount PVs and they're apparently pretty simple install. Uh, they were kind of expensive, about like 27 bucks or so. My original plan, I was going to put like basically one, two, three in you know, four rows of that. So I wouldn't need 12. Well, I decided that I don't really need the one in the middle because it's going to be like a four foot span. So it should be enough to have just two mounts per rail and then I'm still going to have four rails. So that's going to be eight mounts total. So it should be enough. They're apparently good for like over 2,000 pounds of pull force. So that should be good enough for the winds we get. Hopefully. I'll find out in a couple of years, I guess. We don't get those strong winds often, but every now and then we get these big wind bursts. And like they just hit like, like the whole house, like you can actually feel it almost shift. Like, well you don't really feel it, but you can hear like everything inside just shaking, like in the attic and everything. So like these winds can be pretty strong. So hopefully these are gonna be okay. So let's get started and open this up. So I bought these from a place called Modern Outpost and it's a solar store in Canada and there's not a lot of places here that actually sell stuff directly to the public. Like I had a hard time finding any place and after some research I found these guys so I'm glad that I was able to find them. Yeah so they sell all sorts of stuff, solar modules which I wish I would have known because it would have been cheaper to go through them than through Amazon for the 100 watt modules. It, it's glad to know because if ever I want to do the house, I'll probably go with them because the shipping was actually free. So I did find some other solar stores, but they wanted crazy amounts for shipping. Yeah, so I'll keep them in mind. So anyway, let's get this going. Look at that, I just unboxed a box. So the next video, we'll be unboxing this one. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so here, so this is what it is, Quick Mount PV. Actually made in the USA. Okay, here we are. So these are the flashings. Okay, so the way, the, the way these work is this is a piece of flashing and then it goes under the shingle. It goes under the shingle so that the water goes this way and then this seals around so that the water can't get in and then the bolt goes here and it also has a gasket so for the rain that comes directly. So the water flows over the shingle and over here. And ideally you want to install these as an, at an angle so the water doesn't sit here. Well, the water's not an issue, it's the snow. You want to think of the snow, right? Because, I mean, this will possibly get covered in snow. Like even if there's panels over here, some snow might get through. So put this like that. And then there's going to be a light bolt that goes through. And then the light bolt also has some I guess another bolt, I guess it's, it's kind of like a dual bolt, so like a light bolt and then just a regular bolt and then your nut goes in, you put it in your frame or whatever you're using and then you bolt it down. So I actually bought some Unistrut for a while, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use, you know, if I built my own out of wood or whatever. So I decided, I just bit the bullet and I bought some Unistrut. So yeah, so there should be eight of these in here. This is a hardware, get to that after. Yeah, so believe it or not, these are like 27 bucks a piece. It seems kind of expensive, but I mean, if you consider the cost, this is like, I think this is like stainless steel or something, actually. They didn't mess around, so yeah, so you're paying for the metal, really, like, I mean, if you were to get this manufactured locally at a machine shop or something, you'd probably pay about the same, probably even more. Yeah, so now the hardware. Did 
this is the nuts and the bolts. And then I believe this is the gasket that will that goes into the, the mount first and then the bolt goes through. So I'm not gonna bother opening this bag. I kinda wanna keep everything together. And these are the actual bolts. Okay, I'm actually glad. I was wondering, like, I, I figured these threads would go all the way to the bottom and I'm thinking, like, how do you ratchet that in? Well, it's good, it ends here, so you put a nut. If I could get the one that I dropped. Yeah, so get your nut, you put it in here. And you drill your hole in the roof, put that in, you ratchet it in with your impact or do it manually if you want to play it safe. So as long as the socket is deep enough, it should be okay. I'm going to have to test that with my set. I might have to buy another set. So yeah, so basically this will go in. And I imagine you keep that in, but I'm honest. Yeah, you keep that in because the gasket will probably go on here. I haven't read the instructions for these, so I might be doing this wrong. But yeah, I think... I probably shouldn't even do this before reading the instructions because I'll probably just make a fool of myself. But yeah, I think this would go in first. It looks like you have to force it, so I'm not going to do that before I read the instructions in case I'm wrong. But I think the way it works is it goes here and then this would bolt against it and then it would cause it to seal around the hole. See that seems like the logical thing for me. And then there's a washer that would probably go on top of the rubber gasket too. The only thing I'd be concerned about is the water might actually sit in that hole. So yeah, I'm gonna have to read the instructions. Maybe there's another part that I'm missing that I didn't open it that goes over. Maybe I could just put tape. Actually, tape won't work, but yeah, there's probably something I need to do. Maybe you just fill it with caulking or something because you just don't want water sitting in here. But yeah, this is basically how it's going to sit on the roof at this angle. And I'm glad this is long enough because I wasn't sure how long it would be. So it keeps the panels quite a ways away from the roof, which is what you want. You want some good airflow because panels actually get hot when they produce. And you don't want them to get hot because they lose efficiency. So this is where it's going to be good in winter because they're probably going to be very efficient. You know, minus 40s, minus 50s. I don't think we've ever get colder than that. Minus 50 is the coldest I remember seeing it. But yeah, so they're going to be pretty efficient at temperature. So yeah, so this is pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to talk about. I'm just glad that these finally came in. And then these are just all the other bolts. And I, I believe all these are stainless steel. Because on the side it did say stainless steel hardware. So I don't know what they meant by the hardware. If they mean all this stuff, the bolts count, maybe this. I mean, this feels like stainless steel. I mean, I'm not an expert when it comes to different metals. But to me, it does feel like stainless steel. It might even see on here somewhere. Yeah, no, so it just says Quick Mount PV ICCESR3744. And I believe that's like a patent number made in USA. And then I think a serial number 001616. No, that must be like a model number or something. Yeah, so I guess that looks probably like galvanized steel. And then, yeah, so the bolt is stainless. It looks like there's a stainless bushing in there. Because when dealing with stuff like this, especially outside, you want all the metals to match. And what I mean by that is some metals are not compatible with other metals. If they touch, it will corrode. So I'm assuming and I'm hoping, because it's not good to assume, but I'm hoping that the Unistrut will be compatible with these bolts. But if it's stainless steel, which I think it is, I think it'll be fine because I think stainless it doesn't really corrode. So I shouldn't get any galvanic corrosion, so I, I think I'll be okay. The only thing with the Unistrut is I could only find pre-galvanized, I couldn't find galvanized. So hopefully it'll be okay outside. So this is pretty much it for this video. And not much else to show really, I mean I showed the stuff that's in the box. It's just the flashing and the, and the screws basically. So I actually had to re-record this part of the video because I originally recorded where I was oh, yesterday and then I realized that half my head was missing from the shot 
because I don't have a proper camcorder yet. So I'm using either my phone, which is what I'm using now, or sometimes I use my DSLR, which has slightly better quality. But the problem is that I can't see what the camera sees if I'm in front of it because it only has the LCD on the back. So the whole time I was doing the recording, I couldn't really see if I was in frame. So that's going to be an issue if I want to do vlog stuff more often. So I'm definitely going to have to invest into a proper camcorder, you know, with the LCD that kind of swivels both ways. So that way when I'm recording myself, I can actually make sure I'm actually in the frame, which is kind of important if you're recording yourself. So I went to edit and I looked at the footage, I'm like, oh, okay, half my head's missing. Yeah, so those are the mounts. And then I'm going to install them whenever I get the chance. And now that September, it's raining all the time. It seems to be typical around this time of year. But there's, winters tend to start later now, so I'm probably going to get a period where it doesn't rain and where it's not like super cold and where it's not snowing. So I'll find time to do it, install them, and then I'll, I'll install the Unistrut framing. I kind of have an idea how, how I'm going to do it. So yeah, that's going to be another video later. So what I've been trying to do here with this channel is I want to try to do one video per week if possible. But sometimes I just don't have any content to do. So like, this is why I did this unboxing. It's kind of a silly little thing to do. But I figured it would just make a video and I can kind of update you on the whole project. So once that rack goes in, I can put in the solar panels, hook them up, and it's going to be more or less ready. Like I still have to build a box for the battery so that's insulated. So I have kind of a general idea what I want to do for that. I'm basically build the box like you would the wall, you know, with studs. I'm going to put some bat insulation all around and then there's going to be a top that goes on top as well and then everything's just going to seal and be very well insulated. And then I probably won't need a heater but I'll have to experiment with that so I'll probably put one anyway. But chances are this winter I'll probably just bring the battery inside because I'm not quite ready like I'm going to have to drill holes through the siding for the hydrogen to escape and all that kind of stuff so I haven't really planned that out yet. So I'm kind of going to play by ear as far as the shed project is because it's I consider it done I mean all the stuff I'm doing from this point on is just extras the shed itself is done you know I can start putting stuff in it I have to maybe install hooks you know that kind of thing but I consider the project done so yeah it took almost a year to do this project which is kind of sad but I have to remember I wasn't working on it every day like I went most of winter without working on it I would go weeks without working on it because it was too hot Especially this summer. This summer has been crazy. So, yeah, so it's not like I was working on it every day. So, yeah, it took a year, but it wasn't a year of work on it straight. Like, this week I was off, but I had a whole bunch of stuff to do, so I didn't touch it. So, yeah, so that's really it for this video. I mean, I don't really have anything else to talk about. Chances are there won't be another video next week, but we'll see. So, yeah, so that's it. Bye.